straight to vinyl. That's something that's a little definitely different. Something I never even thought existed, honestly. It's just a little nerve wracking thinking that it's going to be one take. I can't wait. It sounds like it'd be incredible. So we're essentially making a record right on the spot, literally a record. Once it's recorded, once it's performed, it's set in stone. And what you hear on these records is exactly what happened on the floor. So what we're doing is we're bypassing the multi-tracking process. We're taking those eight microphones, bringing them into the board, and then immediately bringing them out of the console, and they go straight to something called a lathe. What a lathe is, this is a machine that cuts a lacquer, and a lacquer is your thing you press to make vinyl. There'll never be a more charismatic way to record anything, period. It's, it's really lush, and it's, it's art to watch it and to play it. I was watching a show and talking about some of the first hip-hop songs and what is it, Sugar Hill Gang? Like one of the first songs they did, it's like a 14 minute song, like all one take. I'm good, I'm chilling. So I gotta give you a hug, man. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. I didn't even know that was a thing, like people did that. Yeah, they're just working up the tune now, so. A word, word. Go for it. Afro's here. What's up, man? 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 Today was the first time I've really actually been able to interact with him and hang out with him. He's a super nice guy and just good vibes, good energy. It, he can rap to anything, apparently. Working with good people makes the best music, for sure. When I first heard him, uh, it was electronic music, and it was something very different that wasn't my style that I wasn't used to. So I walked in, I was like, it's a live band. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah, game time, game time. I love live music. Live music, you can feel the soul. You can feel the soul through the speakers. Everybody contributing. Everybody has something to contribute from their soul. To be able to come in here and rehearse with musicians who really know their stuff and we can bounce ideas off of each other is just incredible. I see all my favorite rappers and, and producers in those big studios with speakers. And it looks incredible. So I never, I never thought I'd be in something like this. This was originally Sound City Studios. Over the years, I'd say some of the more notable records are Tom Petty's Damn the Torpedoes, Nirvana's Nevermind, the first Rage record, Cheap Tricks worked here, Nine Inch Nails, Johnny Cash, Evil Knievel made a record here. That was, was kind of cool. This goes on and on. For the most part, we kept the original design and shape of all the rooms. The sonic integrity of the studio is the same. So I don't think it's gonna be that different than what you experienced yesterday. Obviously it's a different room. Yeah. It's gonna be a little drier, but I would love to get the, the room volume level as low as possible. So obviously the playback, um, the lighter you can play, but without losing intensity. We'll run through until you guys are completely comfortable with what you're doing. I don't wanna discourage improvisation, but I would get everybody get their part and stick to it every time so these guys know exactly what to expect. Right. From there, I don't know. Sounds good. Cool. So, can we grab a little acapella from you just to hear a level? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Smooth groove, steadily tuned, heavy, never refuse, plenty of soothing, amusing music melodies. It's a nightmare, an afro, fight, fair, and battles. The way that you'll find some top the end? the mind. Slow tempo, so monumental, continental, caught the pencil, one part with the cause of the longer mental. There it is. Should we do full band and see what it sounds like? So on this particular section, everybody's jumping on it really hard, like somebody's got to leave space. Okay. We need to create some definition in that. Yeah. I love the energy of it going double time, but as a, as a group, you guys got to figure out who's going, like everybody's jumping on right now. You have to really be on your toes and really know what you're doing and really have a vision of what you're going for. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we can we just try one without where it's just bass and then do the call and response thing for the second eight? Yeah. I just want to give us eight, eight. yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Fine. Because knowing that you have to get it right, right there, there's no turning back, there's no fixing, there's no any of that stuff. Like whatever the note is, middle up, middle, and then down on the second one. 
I just gotta mute it. Yeah, yeah. Cause even if you just did like boom, 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 like you know what I mean. Do you guys mind if we run it once more? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even get to do the third one yet. Because you're not multi-tracking, you're not mixing later, you're going straight to this lacquer, and it just has a very unique, specific sound. But I think the bigger effect is what it does to the musicians and the people performing. And when you're kind of put on the spot right there and it's live, there's a certain amount of energy and angst and nervousness that happens. And I actually think it's really good for the music. I think direct to disc brings that energy back into the recordings. All right, everybody quiet in the room. Over here, this is the audio start. Yes. And the audio start will be there. What do you think of the vocal level? The engineer who's performing the console, if you will, is doing exactly that. He's working it like an instrument, and it's as much of a performance as what's going on in the room with the instruments themselves. The engineer's gonna send a certain level. If something happens and they exceed it, it can blow a fuse because it's very sensitive to displacement because you're taking audio and turning it into mechanical energy. What? What happened? All this stuff has to happen perfectly for the record to come out the right way. It's pretty intense. I didn't hear it. How everybody feeling here? Felt good to me. Good to me. Cool. <sighs> That's the best sound. I made room, room, right? The drop. Right there, yeah. bro. <laughs> exactly. That's a real crap for me. I came in here with the song on my laptop, and now we're expanding it. I don't even know what to expect. Like, I'm excited to hear what it sounds like. That's why these places are so infamous, because it gives it that character that you can't get anywhere else. Next resurrection, I had the perfection. Learning the ropes, helping the step in the direction. You would never guess this team would work when froze words bless and manifest this earth. Uh. Everybody, everywhere coming in and, and just comes as one makes this song. Or without this guy, wouldn't sound the same. Without this guy, wouldn't sound the same. So when everybody gets together, it sounds incredible. Top notch, soft spots, watch, blocks, rocks, locks, knock, stock, hot box. Pen in a pad, rhyming a great though. You best with the plan? I wouldn't say so. Thank you for that. Put that away. Bring it in, heart to heart. Oh, that's a great time.